In an upcoming project, I'm going to have to hold a workpiece at a 45 degree angle in order to machine it. Now if it was a small workpiece, I could simply tilt it in the vise and machine it that way. I've done that a lot of times in the past, but the workpiece is a bit big for this vise, so I'll need another method. Now I'm sure there are many ways of setting up an angled fixture, and I could have bought myself a tilt or a sign vise. But given the small scope of the work, I thought it would be a cool idea to go ahead and see if I could do it myself. I'm going to start off with my old milling vise. Technically it's more of a drill press vise than anything else, but I used it for quite a few months before I bought the much bigger vise, and it seemed to work without too much issue. More importantly though, it's been sitting on the back shelf doing nothing for the past year, so this project can allow me to find a new use for it, and I think that would be a good thing. As well as the vise, I'm going to need a chunk of some cold drawn steel, and a piece which is about the same width as the vise should do well. <laughs> It's a bit long to face off with the small lathe, so I'll use an end mill to face it off. The next thing I need to do is mill a big L-shaped step into the side of the steel. And I'll keep going until I'm about halfway through into the steel. Next I can drill two holes in each end, and then I'll tap them for an M8 thread. And that is the first piece done for the moment. Next I'll start machining up the vise. I'll place it in the big vise and then I'll start to clean up the front. Unsurprisingly the vise is just a piece of cast iron and they haven't machined the front. It's been left tapered and I'm sure it isn't perpendicular to the vise jaws. So I'll need to clean it up first before I can use it as a part of the tilt vise. And doing this is an easy 5 minutes in the milling machine. And the final thing left to do is drill two holes for the mounting screws. Unfortunately there won't be a huge amount of material surrounding the holes, but it should be enough at least for light milling and drilling. I could have probably moved the holes a bit inwards, there's a bit more material on either side, but it's always easy to say that once you've already drilled the holes. And that is what it looks like once it's all assembled. For a 30 minute job it seemed to work out just fine. But as I was setting up to machine the toolmaker's vise, I noticed there were two small errors. For one, there was a pretty small gap at the front. It probably wouldn't be too much of an issue, but it looked a little bit sloppy and out of place. The end mill that I was using must have had a pretty big chip in the corner, because it left a really big radius. Obviously every end mill leaves a radius to some extent or another, but this was a lot bigger than I was expecting it to be.
And instead of removing it, I found it to be a lot easier to simply file down the sharp edge that I left on the vise. The other mistake that I made was assuming that the side faces of the fixed jaws were ground perpendicular to the top, which unfortunately they weren't. Considering that I got this vise for free, I probably expected a little bit too much from it, so I had to go ahead and fix it. I put a 1-2-3 block in the jaws, and then I clamped that 1-2-3 block in the big vise. I'm sure that there are better ways of doing this, but for a simple tilt vise like this, it should be good enough. You'll obviously need a bigger vise to clamp this in, but the overall setup is quite simple. Just tilt it to the angle that you need and clamp the jaws shut. If you really think about it, this whole setup isn't too different from a sign or a tilt plate, except doing the fixturing is a lot easier. And of course you can use angle blocks or trigonometry to set up a really precise angle. And that's good enough to within 0.01 millimeters across the length of the vise, which is definitely good enough for what I need. Now obviously you won't be doing any heavy machining with this setup, but it can handle light work and drilling. It's obviously no replacement for a proper tilt vise or a sign plate, but in a pinch for a hobbyist on a budget, this can definitely work, and it definitely worked for the project that I needed it for. And that's about it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.